Hi, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com, and here on YouTube, you know me as Epic Fantasy. That's right. And this is my latest tutorial. It is Halloween week. Yes, it is. It's Halloween week, and this is day six, and we're having a lot of fun here. And today's project is two projects in one, similar but different. I'll show you what I mean. Now, you can see it is a chef's knife to the head. Also, and you've probably seen this if you watch my videos, you've seen the meat cleaver to the head. This one goes sideways. One goes forward. And one goes sideways. So, fun project, easy to make. You only need a few supplies, a little headband to connect it, and some foam board to make it. And you got yourself a nice little prop for Halloween. Um, okay, so we will do the video, the introduction, and then we'll do the tutorial on how to make it. First, let me say a couple of things. If you're a subscriber to my channel, thanks for subscribing. If you're not a subscriber, hit that button. Always lots of fun and interesting projects. I thank you very much for watching. Uh, leave me a comment, give me a thumbs up. I do read all comments and I do take suggestions. So if you got ideas for projects, uh, let me know. One more thing, tomorrow's project, day seven of Halloween, is fun with eyeballs. That's right. <laughs> how to make eyeballs that look real and how to use them creatively for Halloween. You're gonna like that video. Um, that's tomorrow. Okay, so let's do um, the introduction and then let's do how to make either a chef's knife, both. A chef's knife or a meat cleaver to the head. Thank you. Dioramas, origami, catapults, and treasure shades, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blacksmithing, model boxes, animation. I teach you how to feel creation. Stormycastle.com. Let's make something. Okay, let's get started. And the first thing we're going to do is work on the meat cleaver. So you get yourself one of these hair clips like this, and if it has a cloth covering over it, just cut it right off. Usually you can cut the end and then peel it right off like that. You know, you might have a plastic clip, you won't need to do that. <clears throat> so print up the template, and then cut out the meat cleaver parts. I mean, we're going to do the um, knife too, but first we'll do the meat cleaver. I'll show you how to do that. Because there are three pieces. Well, there's two template parts, three pieces. So lay, cut out those pieces and then lay them out like this. Now put the handle and the blade part together trace that and make one big part like you see here there you go and see how that handle has a little bit of overlap to it over hang right it's kind of nice adds a little touch to it makes a difference and then trace two handle pieces like this so now you have three parts that make up this knife this uh, cleaver it's a really easy project you can have this done in no time if you're in a hurry for halloween here's a quick and easy project that people will like and then cut those pieces out of foam board and you can do this project in cardboard too if you want. Now let's uh, put it together. Cut at an angle the handle pieces like this. That's the end of the knife near the blade. And then glue them both onto the cleaver. One on this side and one on the other side. And then trim it all. Once they're glued and the glue is set, trim them all to look nice. And you can use a knife, you can use some sandpaper. Make them nice and flat so it looks good. And then if you can, this is optional, but coat it with something. Uh, we're using Mod Podge. Works really well for this. Makes it a little, um, strengthens it and makes it a little more um, glossier. And then paint it. Now use um, silver paint if you have it. Spray paint or regular brush-on paint. If you don't have silver, you can go with a light gray. And then paint the handle black. So now let's add some details. The, the pins on the handle, which are like this, uh, we're using embroidery um, tacks. You can use regular thumbtacks, silver ones if you have them. And we're putting three on there. Um, and let me show you a couple of different techniques you can use. So you glue those tacks right on there. And if you don't have these, you can do something like this. Where you put globs of hot glue gun like we did on the medieval axe. And then you paint them silver once it, the, the, it, the glue cools. Or you can just cut yourself out a circle and then spray paint on with silver or white or something. Silver preferably to make your um, three pins like that. Now spray that handle to seal it nicely and give it a shine. If you have some kind of a sealant.
Now we're going to attach it to the headband. And, you know, fit it and try it and take a look, see how it fits. If it's a good fit, you can always carve the the, um, ha the uh, cleaver a little bit to try to get it to fit better. Or you can build up hot glue on the headband like this. You can let, put a coat on, let it dry, put another coat on, and build it up in the way you want. Like, we need a little bit more on the left than on the right. See it? So, you know, so try it, fit it, try it, fit it. And then glue it in. And be liberal with the glue, the hot glue, because we're going to paint it red anyway. So, you know, add some blood splatter like, like that. <laughs> you know, make it a little bit creepy. Like it's had an impact. Almost didn't want to say that. <laughs> and then paint it red. And do some detail work by painting that splatter red. Like that, see it? <laughs> I like it. Fun project, you'll have this done in no time. All you need, the only real challenge here is getting a headband. And if you have hair, it's going to be hidden really well. I, you know, my, I shaved my head, so, you know, we actually painted the uh, headband flesh color for me, but it's better with hair. Now, if, if it doesn't sit on your head tight and it doesn't stay, you know, you do something to affix like a string or pipe cleaner to it like this, so you can do it on both ends, so then you can either tie it under, behind your ears and behind your back of your head, or you can actually just bring it behind your ears and under your chin. Either way, whatever's comfortable. And there you go, you're all set. Looks good. Looks like this guy had an unexpected accident happen on his way to the butcher's shop. <laughs> so that's it. That's a meat cleaver to the head. And that's a lot of fun. And uh, next we're going to do the um, chef's knife to the head. And we actually wrote the, this one so it's not sideways, it's kind of forwards, which would be correct if somebody were facing you and then stuck you with it, like an angry cook. So print up the template, cut out the pieces. Now two of the pieces you tape together like this to make the knife part. See? The other pieces of the handle pieces, trace those also. And then cut everything out. Now, we did the, do the same thing here where you bevel the handle like that because it, it makes it look like it's a wooden piece on there. And then glue those on, one on the top and one on the bottom. So you got a thicker handle, a three layer handle. Let's see that bevel there on the left of that handle piece. See that? Now you can clean this up with an X Acto knife or with some sandpaper. And then, but you know, after you do this, is, which is optional, is kind of carve the corners off all the way around, all four edges. It makes it like a wooden handle grip. It kind of looks good. Can you see it there? So the same thing applies. Let's, cook, let's um, protect this thing with some Mod Podge. Beefs it up, strengthens it up, gives it kind of a sheen. And that is optional. And then spray paint the blade silver. If you don't have spray paint, use regular paint. And um, if you don't have silver, you can use a light gray. That'll be fine. Now if you want, this is a bolster here on the handle. You can mask that off with a piece of paper and then spray paint that too. Which it, it's a nice little touch. You might want to do that. See? And if it runs, which it ran for us a little bit, doesn't really matter that much. Watch, I'll show you. See it ran underneath the paper a little bit, especially on the other side. That's okay, we'll fix it with the black paint. So let's do that. Fix it with the black paint and then paint the handle black. You know, standard kitchen knife. Nice silver blade, nice black handle. <laughs> All right, now, this thing sits mostly on your head, so you want to protect it, your head a bit, soften it. So glue it like that to a piece of felt or a piece of cloth. And that way when it sits on your head, it's more comfortable. And then, you know, glue it on and then add your blood splatter. And then paint that blood splatter. A red color. You know, I'm gonna have a lot of fun. This is, um, you know, with these Halloween projects. And then, you know, trim your cloth or your felt. 
so it doesn't show too much. And you, you can even paint that too, the top of it. Now, if trying it on your head, it kind of slips around, it's not that tight, do the same thing, tie a, a glue a string to it or something, so you can tie it under your chin or behind your, the, your head. That way it holds on tight while you're walking around or stumbling around because you got a knife in your head. <laughs> and then now glue this one differently like this. Now at a right angle to the hair clip. See how that's different from what we did with the cleaver. Just kind of cute. And then so beef it up with some more hot glue because the more hot glue you use, the more blood and guts there is. And then touch it up and that's it. We are done. Let's take a look at this one. Fast, easy project that people are going to like. And you made it yourself. You know, you can paint that hair clip to be the same color as your hair. If you want. So don't tick off any more cooks, because that's what happens. Okay, so that's the end of this day of Halloween projects. Here's some more projects you might like that are not related to Halloween, but there's a foil sword and a boulder. Fake boulder. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button.